10. Uh, today we're delivering new cases for our iPads that were purchased last year for our students in grades 7 through 12. Uh, this year we've invested in some better cases that have integrated keyboards. As you can see, it has a keyboard that's built into the case and it has a kickstand so that uh, students can put it on their desk and set it up like a laptop. The cases are definitely more rugged than the ones we've had on last year, um, so it will absolutely help with wear and tear on the devices. The school board approved a digital enrichment fee for this coming year. Um, it's $50 per student or $100 max per household. And students that qualify for free and reduced lunch, uh, it's $10 per student. Uh, and these fees will allow us to continue um, with our one-to-one -one program. It'll provide things such as apps and ongoing maintenance and accessories. They can receive the device without paying that fee up front. In fact, we're, we're asking the schools to give our parents uh, up until the end of the second nine weeks to pay those fees. You can pay them over time. You know, we're just trying to make it as convenient as possible. So this year we've also put uh, some maintenance fees in place. If they do break them, um, and those numbers can be found in our student handbook's fee schedule. Each school has an area set up where the students can return the devices and get them in for service. And students will not be without a device. So if they have one that's broken, they can bring it in, get a replacement swapped out, and then as soon as we get theirs fixed, we'll get it back to them. Right now, there may be two or three techs kind of trying to cover this. That's right. We're here to help.